in ancient times, and I mean like 5,000 years ago, before there was the proliferation of imperial religions, people celebrated the solstice. They, human beings connected to the earth, you know, observed the stars and understood that the cycle of the sun changed at the solstice and they celebrated. They celebrated the, the increasing light that came to their place on the earth. They celebrated that because it, you know, spoke to the renewal of the forests and the renewal of the fields and the renewal of the birds and the animals, the renewal of the total environment that, there was, that was their experience. And, you know, that spoke to them of the incredible resilience that is life. And they're happy. There wasn't all of the politics. I mean, if you study the history of Christmas, it's a political history. And New Year's is a Roman invention. Well, so is Christmas. But the solstice actually relates to not some politics and some imaginings, but the real world that we live in. And I celebrate the solstice, you know, because I I'm interested to see the world as it really is, not as somebody else tells me it might be, and not as I wish to imagine it. I, wish, I want to see the world the way it really is. I want to see the world the way it really is because that gives me the opportunity to understand who I really am. And understanding who I really am, I have the opportunity to be the best human being I can possibly be and live the fullest, richest, most growing, learning life that is possible for me. A lot of us have shared this holiday for many, for a lot of years. And they've been wonderful years. And we've done, in these years, beautiful work. This place is an extraordinary place an extraordinary gathering of energies from distant places and ancient times which have come together here in this place and this time in a beautiful way to facilitate you know, a new knowing of who we really are. A knowing that is deeper than the bullshit of the, of the internet or the news cycle. You know knowing that is much more sophisticated than the story that we learn about ourselves these days. Um, last year was an astonishing year. Next year, I think, will be even more amazing. I am so grateful to all of you for sharing the past year with me, and, I, and, and for some of us, the, la the past 50 years. You know, and I really look forward to sharing the next year because I think it's going to be one of the most mind-blowing years we've ever experienced. Very happy new year to all of you. I hope it is the best, the finest, the most interesting and nourishing year of your life so far. Namaste.